going to fire one more video at you guys. Um, this is going to be an easy one. Uh, this is just going to be uh, how to measure a belt to uh, help you ensure that you're going to get your right belt for your setup. So polar clutches, you know, are pretty uh, common. Um, those clutches all take uh, a 188A belt uh, as the old ones that they used to have. Um, and now they're choo-choo belts. Um, this is a choo-choo LH20-1 belt. Um, so this belt basically replaces the 188A belt. Um, I haven't seen very many of the 188As around um, in quite some time. So, um, but typically polar belt, polar clutches uh, take these belts. Um, of course, if somebody goes in and shims the secondary clutch, you can actually shim the secondary clutch so your sheaves are farther apart, which means then you can use a wider belt. Um, on the primary clutch, if you pull the primary post out of the fixed sheave, you can push some shims there in between the primary post and the fixed sheave. And what that does, does the same thing. It pushes the um, sheaves apart in the primary clutch, which now means you can run a wider belt. Um, so... Let's just talk about real quick about how to measure a belt in case uh, you ever want to give us a call and order a belt. Um, this is the only style belt that we carry. You know, it's got the top cogs and the bottom cogs on it. Um, this basically replaces the Polar 188A belts. Um, this is the Choo Choo, um, the uh, LH20 1. Um, I know there's been some 003s, 001s, uh, things like that. So, uh, probably the number one tool that uh, you should have in your arsenal is going to be a set of calipers. Uh, you can pick these up from Harbor Freight for, you know, 15, 20 bucks. And um, these are great tools. I use these so often. Um, all you're going to do is if you look at the belt, the belt has a little bit of taper um, on the inside. It tapers down on the inside and on the outside of the belt, it tapers out. So right on the uh, widest taper of the belt is where you're going to measure. Just take your calipers and kind of pitch them together. And right here I'm getting uh, 0.826. Go a little bit farther around the belt, measure there. Now I'm getting a 0.817. Go a little bit farther around the belt, take another measurement. I'm getting a 0.8 to one go a little bit farther on the belt and another measurement 0.819 so measuring in that many uh different positions on this belt you want to do that because then you want to take like the average so i would uh dare call this it's a 820 wide belt um once you first run in it run it all the really wide spots on this belt, anything that's over 820 is going to get knocked down pretty quickly. Um, and then it'll become a true 820 belt. Um, here's another belt, uh, just for reference. Um, we're going to take the measurements, uh, about 820 right there, a little bit farther, uh, 820, go a little bit farther, 820. All right. So right here, this belt, this belt is also an 820 wide belt. They'll vary anywhere from 800 uh, to about 830, uh, typically on the polar clutches. Um, when you get a belt that gets down around 775, 760, uh, you'll definitely want to get rid of that belt. It, it, it uh, lost a lot of material and uh, will not work properly for you anymore. So, um, so perfect belts, you know, are 800, 810, uh, 815. That would be the size belt that I would run run with a polar clutch. Um, so, uh, hopefully this video, uh, find you and, uh, hopefully you find it useful. Um, so that's basically what you're going to do. Uh, when you give us a call, those will be the questions that we ask, you know, what clutch you have, um, and how wide are your old belts? 
Um, so get a pair of calipers, uh, give us a shout, um, throw some numbers at us. Um, if we don't have the belt, you know, we can send you in the right direction to where uh, uh, we can get you hooked up with the right belt. All right. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Take care. Have a great day. <laughs>